Hi, welcome to Microsoft SQL Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 16, working with having clause. In this session, we'll learn what is having clause and how to use having clause. Next, we'll see what is the syntax for the having clause. And then finally, we'll work with the different scenarios for having clause. First of all, we'll see what is having clause. Having clause is often used with the group by clause in the select statement to filter group of rows based on a specified condition. If you see on my screen, I'm having employee details with the name, gender, salary, city, department ID. So in the previous session, if you see group by, I'm going to group by the department IDs, right? If you see 10 and 20, I'm going to group by and using the aggregate functions. If you see there's a different, different sum of salaries that we got it, right? Now I'm going to, based on these group of rows, I'm going to make it a filter condition or making a condition which is having greater than 45,000 or equal to 45,000. Now I'm going to get the, you know, specific, Fig group of rows over there. Okay, in this scenario, I'm going to use the having condition. Having clause works like a where clause if it's not used with a group by. The difference between having clause and the where clause is that where clause is used for the filter rows, but whereas having clause will be used group of rows. We'll see all the things when I am going to show you on live. The syntax is select column names aggregate function from table one group by column names having condition if you are not using group by you can't use having clause over there now we will see some of the scenarios for the having clause so these are the few scenarios for the having clause the first scenario is the fed the average current salary from employee details group by department id and average current salary for the particular department IDC is greater than 30,000. So in this case, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to aggregate the current salary from the group by department ID. And then from the records of the average current salary, I'm going to make it greater than, I'm going to make a having condition, which is greater than 30,000. In the same way, the maximum current salary, minimum current salary, and some of the current salary that I'm going to make it all these things based on the aggregations. Now, let me show you all these things. Let me execute all these things by using SQL Server Management Studio. Let me switch to SQL Server Management Studio and I have pasted all the scenarios over here. First, let me check out what are the rows that I'm having in employee details table. How I can go ahead, select store from employee underscore details table. If you see, there are two records what I'm having, which is having, you know, based on the different, different group department IDs and different, different current salaries. The, now, let me execute the first scenario. What is that select? What is the first scenario? Fetch the average current salary from de details group by department ID and average is greater than 30. First of all, let me do this query for the still group by department ID. What is that? Select department ID comma. So what do we have to do? Average of the current salary. Average current underscore salary from employee underscore details table group by what is group by group by department ID in this thing that I'm going to use average as the aggregate function as of now that I'm not using any having condition okay now let me execute this we will see where having the records has came based on the department ID filtered by grouping by department ID, right? And if you see there, the uh, you know the average current salary is twenty two thousand five hundred, twenty one thousand, nineteen thousand, twenty thousand, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it having condition. This is based on the output that I'm going to be, you know, I'm making once again the having condition, having the average current salary, this is the condition that I'm going to use. Average current salary, so, so is greater than 
or equal to 30,000. So if you see, I don't have any records, I will get null values, no worries. Let me check it out, right? We'll have the null value, we got the records as null, right? Now let me make it as, you know, 20,000 for the time being. I'm just modifying that. And execute. You can find the records over there. So this is the values having that I'm using like a, having using like a where condition, but where condition will be used used in a such way to filter the records only. But whereas having condition is group of rows, right? These are all the group of rows. And on that, I'm going to be making a condition over there. Now we'll see the second scenario. What is the second scenario? Fetch the maximum sal current salary from the employee details table group by department ID. Now, up to here, I am going to, from group by, I'm going to execute it. You can see, based on the department ID, the maximum salary is 25,000, 30,000, 21,000, 21,000 from the each and every department. So what is the next condition that I'm having? Max current cell is greater than 20,000. Each and everything that I'm having maximum, right? Now let me apply max current salary greater than 20,000. Now if you see all the group by, what are the uh, group by that I have made on the department ID, each and every department ID is having greater than 20,000. Now, for the time being, I am going to make a different, uh, make a change over here. I want to know the max current salary, which is greater than 30,000. Now, there is only one record, right? So this is the mean that we are going to be on filtered records, on filtered rows, group of filtered rows. I'm going to, again, once again, I'm going to filter the records based on the rows by using having condition. Now we will see the third scenario, the minimum current salary group by department IDs and minimum current salary is greater than 20,000, right? Now, we are going to make the small change over here with, what is the thing? We are going to minimum current salary and having condition minimum salary is greater than 20,000. Let me execute this. And there is only one record that is with the null department that I, it is going to be satisfying. Now we will see the fourth scenario fetching the sum of the current salary of all the employees from the employee department group by department ID and sum of the current salary is greater than 75,000. Over here, if you see, I want to use the aggregate function of sum, right? And sum that way I'm going to depart grouping by department ID and I want to check it out having sum of current salary is greater than or equal to, equal to 75,000. Okay, now let me execute this query. If you see, there is only one department ID, department ID 10, which is having more than, greater than 75,000, which is sum of the current salary is greater than 75,000. Now, we will see how the query works. First, for each record in the employee details table, SQL calculates the total sum function on the current salary. And then second, it will group by it will use the group by class to group the selected rows by department ID. And then finally, it will uh, use having class to get the groups that is having some of the sal, the current sal is greater than the particular amount that is 75,000. So these are the three steps, step by step it will work and then it will returns the output. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.